All right, let's get into how we measure using REW uh, for subs to do a sub-only optimization. Um, just as a, as a quick reminder, um, again, same target audience, same same disclaimer as before, common, common equipment, common scenarios. Um, you've already gone through the requirements and the setup that's needed, uh, so now we're gonna get on to doing the actual sub-only measurements. Um, so let's get hands on with this. Um, again, we're, we're gonna do sub only. So if you remember from the previous uh, video, um, we're only gonna energize one sub at a time. Um, and again, if you have multiple subs on a single channel, they're gonna be measured as a single speaker and that, that's that's okay. Um, but just, just be aware um, where I'll get sound from each sub individually as I mute these channels. If you have a single channel with multiple subs on the Y splitter, you want them, you want them measured as a single sub, okay? Um, so as a refresher on how many measurements, uh, this is the same math, but I'm going to, this is the, actually what I'm going to use during this video. Um, I don't want to get up and move my mic around and, and take a bunch of time. So I'm only going to measure one position, uh, but I'm going to measure all four subs at that position. So I'm going to have four subs in one listening position is going to be four measurements for a sub only measurement. Um, my microphone is positioned. I have the microphone pointed straight up um, at 90 degrees and all axes means it's not slightly tilted forward or slightly tilted left or right. It's pointed straight up in the air. And uh, per previous videos, you know, I've got my 90 degree calibration file uh, loaded up. And then the tip, the skinny end of the, the U mic is uh, right between where my ears would be um, at my main listening position. So that's all set up and, uh, and ready to go. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, and jump into uh, to taking some measurements. So the first thing that we need to do is, again, I've got REW already set up um, with regards to my calibration file, my mic, my output, um, and I've got my levels set as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a measurement. So we're going to measure. Um, as always, we want to maintain really good hygiene because it's easy to uh, to get lost in the REW. You start stacking a bunch of mem uh, stacking a bunch of measurements in there. So um, I'm going to call this LF for my left front sub. Um, what we want to do is we're going to sweep um, from, uh, from from low to high is the way these sweeps run. And we're going to sweep from, in my room, I'm going to sweep from 10 hertz up to 300 hertz. Um, I have good response uh, from my subs, typically down to, um, depending on when they're aligned and playing well together, they're typically, uh, have good response down to 12. Um, I actually usually use a filter to roll them off. That's just a personal preference. But I'm going to go ahead and sweep to where I, a little bit below where I know they can play. Um, important thing, make sure that your timing is set to use an acoustic timing reference. The output speaker, um, for the reference is already pre-configured. We, if you set, if you followed my, uh, REW setup video, this should already be configured. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Just remember that when we run these sweeps, you're going to hear a little chirp out of this speaker. Um, and then the sound, uh, that we're sweeping is actually going to come out of our, of the, the sub or the, the speaker that we're, that we're sweeping. So in this case, I want the output to be the LFE channel because that's where I have my subs, uh, that's where I have my subs configured. Um, one thing to note is that when we do, um, sub only sweeps using the LFE is, is totally okay. Um, you, there are some. There are some reasons when you're doing a sub plus main integration why you may not want to use the LFE, and it comes down to the difference between the uh, the LFE and then the the low pass filter that gets applied to that. So we're going to do something slightly different, um, and I'll probably I'll go and uh, and make sure I call out those details uh, in the next video. Um, I may go back and amend the the video previous to this to to make sure and call those things out, but. Um, We'll go ahead and uh, and this this will be good enough for now for for sub only inputs so for sub only optimizations. So again, we're gonna do left front, ten to three hundred. Everything else is set up the way that it should. And the last thing that we need to do is, if you remember, we need to sweep one sub at a time. If you're using a mini DSP, this is pretty easy. You can go into the DSP plugin. Let me close this window. And oh hey look, I made a mistake in the previous video. We went through resetting this thing and we reset all the stuff on the outputs, but I forgot to reset the routing as well. So we want to make sure that in this case we have uh, all of our subs routed so that they play off of that input. So for my config, this is this is the correct routing. So um, pay attention to that when you uh, are, are kind of getting your mini DSP set up for this. But um, So that's all set up properly. 
But what we want to do in the output side is we only want one sub to play at a time. So because I'm going to sweep my left front first, I'm going to go to these other channels and I'm going to mute them. And you can actually see this if you run a sweep. Um, you can see that when we play through the output, the level uh, will only change on the left front sub. If the level changes on other subs, then you're getting sound where you probably shouldn't. So um, let's go back and, and get our measurement ready to go. So it's all still set up from where we had it. Left front, 10 to 300. I have my sub, uh, my single sub ready to go. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll start the sweep. All right, so there's the left front. I'm gonna change this over to uh, SPL. Ooh, it looks like there is still a low pass filter in place. Okay, so I paused recording and thought there was still a low pass filter in place. I had to go check a few things. There is not a low pass filter in place. This is a common mistake that I've made before. It's been a little while since I've measured, so let me take you through the mistake. Um, the mistake is that I didn't adjust the uh, limits of my graph to make it more appropriate for measuring subs. So um, I checked with the other subs. Everything else looks good. So let's go ahead and change this to make this a little bit better. We're going to change the right side of this. Again, just if I did that too quickly. Um, limits up here at the top. I'll change the right side to 300 hertz. And now I have a better, uh, more applicable chart that's a little bit less confusing than what I was seeing earlier. So. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, and measure our next subs. We did our, 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 our left front. Um, this is a little bit of a hangover. So this is what it looked like for our left front. So now we're going to mute the left front. We're going to unmute the right front. When we measure, everything's going to stay the same except for the name of the sub. Now we're going to change it to right front. Go ahead and sweep. So there's the right front sub. So we'll go to mini DSP, mute the right front, unmute the left rear, measure, change our name to uh, left rear, measure. There's the left rear one last time. Everything's muted but the right rear. Let's go ahead and measure the last sub. And there's our right rear. So we now have measurements that are completely acceptable and ready to go into, into MSO. Um, and yeah, that's how ugly my subs look when they're not, uh, not all optimized and, and aligned and, and playing pretty with everything else. So uh, the results that you can get are, are quite good with MSO. Um, just to explain what you're seeing here again, each sub is its own color. And then you can see all the little dips and these are big nulls that I've got. Um, you know, each sub you can see kind of has its own, own areas of nulls and what have you. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's that's the raw and ugly truth of it. Um, what we can do now is I just want to briefly show what the export process looks like um, because again, the most important thing about the export is make sure we have no smoothing turned on. A lot of times we'll start looking at things and we'll look at it with variable smoothing or or um, you know psychoacoustic or one sixth or one eight or one twelfth or whatever makes sense for whatever you're doing and forget to switch it back. So. Um, just to show you what that looks like, maybe I have, uh, maybe I had variable smoothing applied to everything. You see it kind of cleans things up and it would clean those things up when we send to MSO and we don't want that. So the easiest way to, to clean this up is just make sure, you know, you can write, maybe if you were, maybe you're only looking at one, one sub. Um, so you can right click down here, you can say select all, and then you come up to controls in the smoothing drop down. tell it no smoothing and then apply and it removes all the smoothing out of the graphs for us, which is uh, which is what we want for subs. To export these things, um, you can't quite see the menu on here, but you'll go to the file menu for REW 
and there is a, uh, a, a an export option. There we go. So we're going to export them as text. Um, we're just going to use the range of the measurements. And we're going to use the resolution of the measurements. And we're going to use the smoothing of the measurement because it's none. I could override that here and force it to be no smoothing, but I've already done that. Um, we'll use their format and then we say, okay, it's going to ask us where we want to save these files, um, save them somewhere where you're going to remember them. And then they're going to be ready to import into, uh, into MSO for, uh, for optimization. So that's how to take measurements for your, uh, for your subs. Um, next we'll jump into, uh, taking measurements for, uh, subs and mains.